My name is Michaela Boykin. I'm super excited to be featured on Uncut's um, series. Let's get into it, though. I've been, you know, involved in like music and stuff like that since like high school. But once we got into quarantine over like the March through, you know, even now, it's something that I'm like super passionate about as I've been finding myself, um, you know, just being at home and just trying to find new things about me and things that I love. Music is a way for me to express my feelings and how I feel about it, everything. And it's, it's kind of a way for me to, um, you know, put everything that I, I want to say into, into my own words and into like a song. Definitely right now, especially with social injustice and stuff like that, I'm specifically targeting people who will listen to the words, not just like a catchy tune. It's like, you know, listening to the words and you know, what I got to say. Everything that I write and everything I put out is 100%, you know, authentic. The things that I'm talking about in my in my raps is serious and it's something that people need to listen to. You know, the George Floyd, that's when I put out my first um, video. It was something that, you know, I literally couldn't sleep that night when I put that, I was writing that song. It took about 45 minutes to write. Um, the hardest part about that one was recording it. And it was just like a lot of emotions and stuff like that flowing through my head. So I really was in like distraught whenever I found out the news about Jacob Blake. It was just like, how can this cycle keep being like repeated so many times and no change is happening? I write a song just to show the pain that I've been feeling. No words in the world that helps recover from this healing. Enraged dangerous thoughts stem from senseless cop killing. All of my people, how can you find this appealing? They said establish justice in the Constitution, they said. Killing all my people is a new norm instead. Wants to have peace when our brother's blood shed. You lose your brainwash, really messed up in the head. Can't fell a system that was set to never serve and protect. Being black in America is the scariest thing ever. Like, you never know, you can walk outside and have the worst encounter ever, and your life is gone. That's just how our world is. This is right down the street, two little black boys were, um, I guess they were identified as somebody of, you know, as a suspect, but it was somebody who they thought, you know, did something, and they pulled guns out on the little black boys, and it was something that, you know, shouldn't happen. Like, come on, they're, they're kids. But yeah, I feel like, you know, just being black in America is you can go outside any day and your life can be taken away. And that's just kind of like, you know, why I wrote that part in there, because you never know, you know, as black people, like, I don't, I don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. We don't know how, you know, we can fix this problem and how, you know, we can, we can force change because it's just like something that's, you know, repetitive. Um, so when I wrote that, I, I literally was in distraught when I was writing that piece because, you know, I didn't know what to do. It's like we scream. No justice, no peace, cause it has never been no peace When we encounter the police, they'll see one black body And now they reaching for their peace And the end result is critical harm or black body to see you know, As a whole, we need to do better at uplifting everyone in the black community And standing behind each other regardless Because, you know, right now it's just I feel like it's black people versus racism um, And, you know, it's sad, but it's true and if we, we all stand together, you know, we'll, we'll come closer to make, seeing the changes and making the changes that we want. We've been consistent with, you know, fighting for, you know, our rights and fighting for our people. And I'm very appreciative of those who are on the front lines, kind of, you know, help, help enforce, enforce that change. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's, it's not really coming in bursts. I feel like it's something that's very stagnant and, and staying. And I do um, feel like we will have change coming soon. I'm going to keep fighting until you know i can't fight anymore um like a little spoiler for the song but you know i actually even talked about that in the song like i'm going to continue doing everything that i possibly can with my platform using my voice to enforce that change um whether that is getting more people to vote getting people to register to vote just doing anything that i possibly can to you know help enforce that change but i'm going to constantly use my voice um until i see you know you know my people being free and my people you know living a life comfortably my coaches, the Duke Women's Basketball Program, Duke Athletics, um, specifically Nolan Smith, they've been behind me 10 toes with anything and everything I wanted to do. Um, whatever change I wanted to make within the community, they're, you know, standing behind me and, you know, they're willing to do it. It's just, you know, they've always been there and they've always been supporting regardless um, circumstances. Hey, thanks to Uncut, um, Uncut team for, you know, making it possible for me to share my voice and, you know, my thoughts and my feelings. Uh, thanks for, you know, let, allowing me to be vulnerable to, you know, what's going on and, and to myself. Um, but, yeah, everybody go vote. <laughs>